To understand any gyroscopic instrument, you must understand the principle of the gyroscope. It consists of a rotor mounted in a gimbal. The rotor can spin in one plane only. When another gimbal is added, a second plane of movement is possible. And when this assembly is mounted in bearings, the rotor has three planes of movement and can assume any possible attitude. This is now a freely mounted gyroscope. A spinning gyro has two important properties, precession and rigidity in space. All of its practical applications are based on these two properties. As for rigidity in space, the spinning rotor remains in its original attitude, while the gimbals and base move around it. In other words, the gyro maintains its axis in relation to space and not to the surface of the Earth. If a gyro moves around the Earth, its axis is vertical to the Earth's surface here, at an angle here, and horizontal here. The gyro will resist any force that attempts to change its plane of rotation. We will examine two attitude indicators, the H6 horizon indicator and the vertical gyro indicator. Each instrument continuously indicates the roll and pitch attitudes of the aircraft in relation to the actual horizon. And each obtains this information from a freely mounted gyro. The axis of the rotor is vertical and, due to the property of rigidity, will remain in this position as the aircraft assumes any attitude. Therefore, the gyro establishes a vertical reference from which roll and pitch deviations of the aircraft can be measured. It is unnecessary to cage the gyro in either instrument during any maneuvers. We will start with this one. This miniature plane represents the aircraft, and this bar represents the horizon. The horizon bar is mechanically linked to a gyro mounted in the case. The two supporting arms are connected to pivots at the rear of the outer gimbal and by pins to the inner gimbal. When the aircraft climbs, the gyro remains erect while the aircraft and case move around it. This action lowers the horizon bar below the miniature plane. The instrument now indicates the aircraft's present attitude relative to the horizon. At plus or minus 27 degrees of pitch, the horizon bar reaches mechanical stops and ceases to give any further indication of pitch up or down. Some models of this instrument have a scale to indicate pitch to 80 degrees plus or minus. In addition to the horizon bar, this pointer is secured to the outer gimbal of the gyro. It is used with these fixed markings on the case to indicate the degree of roll.